everyone. Here we are in Austin, Texas. Switched on. Austin. We are gonna go inside and check this out. See some vintage synths, see what they got going on. Maybe get a little tour of the store. And uh, hope to share this with, uh, with you all and uh, see what we got in here. So check this out. This is Switched On Austin in Austin, Texas. All right. Hi. How's it going? How are you? Good. Uh, Chad, right? Yeah, thanks. Uh, since forever, yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me today. Um, fantastic store, fantastic collection. I can see you have all types of synths. Yes, you do. Um, so there's obviously a modular over there. You got the uh, OBX behind you. Yeah, someone just brought in this Liberation. Oh, wow. I'll uh, be bringing it back to life. Okay. Look at this. Amazing. Yeah. What, uh, what year is this from? Uh, I don't know exactly what year the Liberation came out. Late 70s, uh -huh. uh, I'm guessing. Probably like 76, 77, somewhere around there. Okay. They skinned a lot of Muppets to make these cases. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Well, this is quite the shop. Um, some Yamaha, Roland. What, what are the types of pieces, the classic pieces you got that you think are the most uh, coveted or, you know, interesting? stuff right now. I mean, we always have Juno 106s in because uh, we restore them. Uh, I think we've repaired more Juno 106s than anything. Mm -hmm. Dozens and dozens of them. Uh, really nice Pro 1 right now. We've got uh, a new Odyssey and an old Odyssey. It's an old Mark III in beautiful shape. And Arp Solus, which is like uh, the suitcase version of the Odyssey a little bit. A little different sounding. Uh, we have an Arp Avatar, which is the guitar version of the <laughs> Arc Odyssey. Wow. Uh, which a lot of people just use as a, an expander now. They don't really use it with guitar. Right. Some people do, but. Okay. We just finished up this uh, EML 200-300 uh, combo. Nice. Yeah, we don't see a lot of those. It's uh, amazing. Manual voltage. Uh, beginning of synthesis, uh, American synthesizer companies in the late 60s. Electrocomp, EML, Electronic Music Labs, was uh, a really big, uh, important uh, company at the time when there were you know, three companies. Right. There's some uh, Cynthia modules uh, in the Mod Can A format, her famous Zero Oscillator. Yeah. Very nice. A couple of those. Tape, uh, tape reel machine? Yeah, yeah we, uh, we service a lot of tape machines. So we've got a Tascam 38 there, we've got a big Studer, uh, A827. 24 track 2 inch machine. We do a lot of Rhodes pianos and uh, Wurlitzer pianos. We service those. Yeah. The Raven. Yeah, yeah. We have <laughs> something from the 90s there. A couple things from the 90s. ASR 88, 88 key version of the ASR 10. Right. Um, we also have the ASR X, the desktop version. And a Steiner Parker Synthicon here that we just restored. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's one of very, very few that was made without a keyboard. Oh yeah, look at that. You could use it as an expander unit for another Synthicon, or just plug in a sequencer. That's amazing. Yeah, all these switches. Really yeah, that, everything's routed with switches. Um, routing modulation, uh, the mixing section, mm -hmm. it's just all switches. There's no attenuation there. It's just on or off. Wow, this, this is crazy. So much stuff here. Boutiques. Lots of boutiques. Yeah, yeah, the boutiques are great. Um, line. A little electron stuff here. Yeah, yeah, we always carry some electron. Very popular. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Digitact, analog heat. Mm -hmm. The drum brute, yeah. Arturia, yes. Racks. Got your rack here. We do some uh, 500 series, some pro audio, and then some you know vintage synths and samplers. Um, the Moog Parametric right now. This transient designer is really excellent. Very useful. Very nice. Um, so, do you have a lot of people come in to uh, rent this gear for like studio recording sessions, or? No, we don't do really any studio rental. No? Um, we'll do sampling rental. People will come in with their laptop and their interface. You know, lay down a, a line with a, a memory mode or a, you know, whatever they like, mm -hmm. and um, 
It's just 25 an hour. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Incredible. Uh, JX3P here with the PG200. Yeah, we're working on a lot of 3Ps. I see some of these are rooted into the sound system. <laughs> yeah, some of them are. They're all going through amps, unless they're dead as well. Very nice. What do we have here? This is an Alesis Ion. Yeah, uh, Alesis Ion. Surprisingly interesting sounding, like still uh, very useful and relevant to uh, virtual analog synthesizer. That's right, digital. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have a little bit of everything, I think, is important. Multi modes, we're working on a lot of multi modes. Oh, wow. Dave Smith Instruments. Yeah, yeah. OB6. Dave Smith is great. Tom Omerheim, and then we got the Prophet 6. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Let me do it. You want to take a look at some of our repair? Absolutely. Yeah. Let's check it out. Look at this modular. We'll come back to that in a minute. <laughs> we just brought in a 909 here for us to work on. It's oh, wow. fun. Yeah. They're so reliable, you usually don't have to work on them. But right. having trouble. And Sonic. Yeah, we're working on an EML 101 right now. Just we did the key bed and now uh, just troubleshooting a few things on the board. Mm -hmm. um, some other things we've worked on here. Did a box Jaguar recently. It's funny, like a real variety of things. Arp Omni, Box Jaguar, and Sonic ASR 10, and the 2016. Full of Terraphonic 505. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got here. That was a fun one. It's in its own case. Yeah. Oh man, look at this. Service these sometimes. Wow. That is insane. Yeah. The EMS gear is uh, it's wonderful. Absolutely. These are very rare, from my understanding. That's yeah. using a um, pin matrix yeah, yeah, for that's modulation. Yeah, how, how you patch it. So it's semi modular. Mm hmm. You can also tap into this uh, Presto patch section here. This oh, yeah. is kind of like access to the pin matrix. So you can put in cards that are presets uh -huh. that have a preset connection of the pins. Uh, but people also make peripherals now. You can plug in and have voltage control, quarter inch access to the pin matrix, that kind of thing. Very cool. Yeah, it's pretty useful. So what's the uh, particular issue with this machine? Uh, this one didn't need much. It had... Uh, some unstable keyboard CV. I think we worked on the, uh, the keyboard sequencer mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, Cinch Jones plugs and jacks always need to be replaced. Right. Um, yeah, it didn't need much. Okay, well, that's promising. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there's obviously some more stuff up in those cases, and or maybe those are just empty right now, but uh, yeah. there's some Moog here, there's some more Roland. Um, got the Pro One over here. Yeah. So these are all completed, is that correct? Or they're yeah, still waiting? Waiting to get picked up. Wait, waiting to get picked up. Yeah, put some uh, tape echoes there. We work on a lot of tape echoes. Yeah, this is nuts. Very cool. What What is this? That is a uh, Wurlitzer electric piano, one of the earlier ones. This is a Model 112. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, it's kind of all in its case there, so there's not much to see, but. Uh, yeah, well, it's one of the earlier, it's the earlier version of the word that's electric piano. Okay. Less common. Yeah. Wow. So I guess, um, do people mostly uh, ship this stuff in or bring it in locally or what, there, do, you, what uh, do you think? There's a lot of uh, synthesis in the region, so we get stuff from all over Texas, but yeah, people ship us things from, from both wherever. coasts, yeah. Yeah. You know, all three coasts, Chicago. Okay. Right on. Everywhere. So then uh, I guess this is the receiving area here. It's kind of packing, um, packing and shipping and photography back there. Yeah, we're packing up uh, Moog Source. This is a Taurus 1, uh, first version of the Taurus pedals, Moog Taurus. Mm -hmm. um, and a Hartman Neuron that's getting packed up there. Oh, oh, wow, I've never actually seen one of those. That one's really, really beat up. It's uh, just sold as parts. Not coming back, missing too many things, I think. Oh. Yeah, it looks like it's had its fair share of use. Hmm. 
and I guess product uh, shots for for listings on the website and such. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Excellent. Oh, there's all these parts here and stuff. There's so much. <laughs> So on a given day, I mean, what's your uh, your busiest sort of day? Uh, is it obviously the weekends, or is it during the weekdays yes. after work, or? Yeah, weekends are super busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah weekends. But, you know, any given weekday could be very busy as well. So. Right. Cool. All right. Well, um, I appreciate the uh, little tour and walkthrough. My pleasure. Um, I'm hopefully going to be able to check out some of this uh, a little bit more intimately. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, just give me a couple minutes, guys, and we'll check out some of this stuff at Switched On Austin.